Hello guys, I'm Mr. Mechanic and I'm here with another video on my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to uh, design this uh, CPU heatsink in uh, SolidWorks and uh, here I have my uh, digital caliper and uh, we will uh, measure the dimensions uh, by uh, this um, uh, tool. Uh, here I have already designed uh, the heatsink in SolidWorks but in this video I will teach you how to design the heatsink um, step by step. So let's get started as soon as possible here. Uh, for making a new part, just come to the new part, okay? Uh, firstly, I'm going to draw a rectangle, then we will extrude the rectangle. So, uh, uh, here we need a sketch, and for drawing a sketch, we need a plane. In SOLIDWORKS, here we are through a standard plane. Front plane, top plane, and right plane. At first, it doesn't matter which plane you choose, but I prefer to choose the plane. Click on the front plane and click on the sketch, and uh, here we have a new sketch. Here choose a center rectangle and draw a rectangle at the origin point and right click and select to exit the rectangle. Here choose, um, here uh, I have to measure the dimension. The dimension of the rectangle is um, 36.8 millimeter. So here's the smart dimension. The dimension is 36 points. Um, let me see, uh, 36 points. Uh, the dimension is um, 36.80 millimeter and here the dimension of this line is uh, 36.80 millimeter so here I uh, click on okay now I come to the feature tab if you don't have the feature tab you can simply right click and you can turn on or turn off the feature tab so here come to the feature tab and click on extrude bus and base here, uh, uh, the SOLIDWORKS will automatically choose the sketch. You have to extrude the sketch about, uh, let me see, you have to extrude the sketch about um, uh, 11 points uh, for this, 11 points uh, 50 millimeter, 11 points 50 millimeter, and here must be blind, a sketch plane, and uh, here you can, in selected contour, choose the sketch, and okay. Uh, choose this surface and click on sketch to make a new sketch and hold the control and eight button on your keyboard to get this view or you can simply come to the view orientation and can choose this view so here choose center rectangle and draw another rectangle and right click and select to exit the rectangle um, I'm uh, designing um, uh, this part of the model here the edge uh, this edge so here the dimension is um, the dimension of the model is 37.60 millimeter. So here choose a smart dimension. The dimension of this line is uh, 37.60 millimeter, and the dimension of this line is uh, 37.60 millimeter. And here come to feature tab, uh, come to extrude bus and base. We have to extrude uh, the sketch about, uh, let me see, we have to extrude the sketch about uh, one, uh, Mm, 1.77, 1.60 millimeter. So here the dimension should be 1.60 um, uh, millimeter, and uh, uh, press the enter button on your keyboard. Now I'm going to uh, draw uh, these patterns here. The patterns you can see here we have some patterns. So. Uh, here, click on the surface and click on a sketch to make a new sketch. Hold the control and hit button on your keyboard. Uh, by the way, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and push to request your subscription and your comments give you more energy to upload more videos on my YouTube channel. So, uh, let's keep designing the model. Uh, here, choose a um, corner rectangle and draw a rectangle here. And right click and select to exit the rectangle. Here, choose a smart dimension. The dimension of this line is, um, let me see the dimension of this line, uh, let me measure, the dimension I think is uh, 2 millimeter, no, the dimension is, yes, it, the dimension is 2 millimeter, and the dimension uh, of this line is um, 6.80 millimeter, so the dimension from uh, this line to this edge is uh, 6.80 millimeter. Uh, here we have, uh, I think, seven rectangles. One, two, three, four, five, uh, four, 
five, six, seven uh, rectangles, yes. Uh, here choose a linear sketch pattern and uh, choose this uh, rectangle, uh, this line and the last line. We have to uh, reverse the direction. Here click on a reverse direction. Here must be uh, X axis and uh, here we need uh, seven uh, rectangles and the dimension of between the rectangles should be three millimeter and here click on OK. Choose the smart dimension, the dimension from this line to uh, this edge is um, 6.80 millimeter. The sketch is not still fully defined because the sketch is still moving so here the lines are still blue. Uh, hold the control button and choose this line and this edge here and in addition give it collinear relation. The sketch is fully defined, the sketch is not moving and all the lines are black. Uh, remember that if your sketch is not uh, fully defined, uh, you won't be able to uh, go through the uh, feature tab. So here click on extruded cut and the uh, SOLIDWORKS will automatically choose your sketch. Uh, here choose, um, in, here in direction one, choose up to surface and choose this surface. And um, here must be a sketch panel and click on OK. So here we designed the pattern. Uh, here choose this uh, surface and click on a sketch. Hold the control and it's button on our keyboard. Uh, here uh, we have to draw another uh, rectangle. So here choose a corner rectangle and draw a rectangle here. And right click and select. The dimension of rectangle is, uh, let me see, uh, the direction of rectangle, uh, the dimension of rectangle is uh, 2.25, uh, 2.23 millimeter. The dimension, here to the smart dimension, the dimension is uh, 2.3 uh, millimeter. And uh, here the dimension is um, 1.1 millimeter. The dimension is one millimeter from um, this line to uh, this edge. One millimeter. And here we have, I think, uh, 1, 2, th uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 uh, rectangles. So here, choose a feature tab. You click on the feature tab and click on extrude cut. No, uh, uh, sorry, here, uh, click on a sketch and here, uh, choose linear sketch pattern and choose uh, this, uh, this rectangle and the last line. Uh, here must be one. And uh, we need to pattern the rectangle in the Y axis. So here we need uh, 11 rectangles. Uh, here click on reverse direction. The dimension between the rectangles should be uh, three millimeter. And uh, here click on OK. Here to the smart dimension, the dimension from this line, this edge is uh, one millimeter. Press the escape button to escape the uh, uh, smart dimension. The sketch is not still fully fine, you can see the sketch is moving and the lines here are still blue. Hold the control button and choose this line and this edge and uh, here in relation with a collinear uh, relation. And okay. So here comes the feature tab and click on extra red cut. The solid works will automatically choose your sketch. Here choose up to surface and uh, choose this surface and click on okay. So here we designed the patterns of the heat sink. Now all you have to do is just to design this part of the model and here. So uh, click on this surface and click on a sketch. Sorry, uh, click on uh, this surface and click on a sketch to make a new sketch. Hold the console and hit the button on your keyboard to get this view. Choose the line. Uh, please follow along me and do uh, uh, whatever I do in the SolidWorks. Uh, I will leave the uh, link of the dimensions of uh, this heat sink and uh, please practice at home. Uh, practicing is very, very important. Choose the uh, three-point arc and draw an arc. Here choose line and draw a line, a vertical line and connect this line to this line. And right click and select. Hold the control button and choose uh, the arc and this line and give it a tangent relation. And choose this line, this arc and the line here and give it tangent relation. Here choose the smart dimension. The radius of the arc is, uh, let me see, the radius of the arc is, uh, seven uh, millimeter the radius of the arc is seven millimeter and uh, here uh, choose center line and connect this uh, point to 
this point and right click and select. Here, I hold the control button and choose the center line and uh, this point, the center of the arc, and give it coincidence relation. Uh, hold the control button and choose uh, this line and this line and give it equal uh, relation. Now choose uh, center line and, and connect the center of the arc to the origin point. And right click and select. Here the sketch is not still fully defined because the sketch is still blue and it is still moving. So here hold the control button and choose this uh, center line and this point and give it coincidence relation. So here the sketch is not still fully defined because it is still uh, moving. So uh, let me see what's the problem. The sketch doesn't have to move. Uh, here the sketch doesn't have to move. So here I choose center line and connect uh, this side of the uh, model to uh, this point and right click and select. Uh, here choose a mirror entities and choose this line and the arc here and this line and here in mirror about choose the center line and click on OK. Here I draw uh, two circles here at the center of the arcs. Here the dimension of the circles is um, three uh, millimeter. Here the dimension of the circles is three millimeter. And uh, hold the control button and choose um, choose this circle and uh, this circle and give it equal uh, relation. And um, here again choose this a smart dimension, the dimension from um, this circle to uh, this circle is, um, let me see, the dimension is um, dimension from the circles to circle is uh, 61 point uh, 70 millimeter 61 point, uh, point uh, 50 I think let me measure again dimension is 61 point um, 61 point 60 millimeter and okay uh, here um, choose the leader and here uh, first our condition uh, must be max and here click on max and OK. And again, choose the smart dimension. The dimension is 61.60 millimeter. So the sketch is full defined. Everything is black and the sketch is not uh, moving. So here, uh, let me see. I think here we made a mistake, terrible mistake. Let me see uh, here the radius. Uh, the radius of the arc is um, Seven millimeter, and um, let me remove uh, this dimension. Uh, pr uh, choose this dimension and press the delete button on your keyboard. Here, choose uh, a smart dimension. Dimension from this line to this line is uh, seven millimeter. Sorry, dimension of the circle is uh, three point five millimeter. Uh, here, click on a feature tab. Here, click on extra boss and base. And here, in selected contour, choose this region and uh, this region. This region, I think uh, my system, no. Uh, here, hold the co uh, control and hit button on your keyboard and choose uh, sketch and choose line and connect this point to this point and to this point and right click and select. So uh, your sketch must be uh, a closed loop. Here, come to the feature tab. This is the reason why uh, the SolidWorks couldn't um, realize their area. Uh, here comes the extrude boss and base, and the SolidWorks will automatically choose uh, the region. Uh, here, choose up to surface, and uh, choose this surface. Uh, finally, click on OK. Here must be sketch play and click. So we designed the model. It was a pretty simple uh, sketch design. Uh, please practice at home and uh, do it yourself. I will leave the link of the dimensions in the caption. So uh, it was a uh, pretty cool video. I have uploaded over 60 videos on my YouTube channel about uh, designing and drawing a sketch in SolidWorks. Please watch those videos. And 
Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and put your comments, your subscription, your comments, give me more to upload more videos on my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video.